Hi, in this video we see how limits can be used to identify the horizontal asymptotes of a function. We will see that sometimes those limits are evaluated using L'Hopital's rule. First of all, if f is a function and the limit of f of x as x approaches either plus or minus infinity is equal to L, then this means that y equals L is an horizontal asymptote of the graph of f. The figure illustrates the case when this asymptote is when x goes to infinity, but of course the same situation could happen towards minus infinity. As an example, take f of x equals 3x plus 1 over 4x squared minus 1. It is a rational function, or that means a ratio of polynomials. As x goes to infinity, we evaluate limits of rational functions by dividing each term of, by the highest power found in the denominator. Here this power is x squared. After simplifying, this gives 3 over x plus 1 over x squared divided by 4 minus 1 over x squared. So notice what we've done is that we've divided each term by x squared and then we've just simplified. As x approaches infinity, this limit approaches 0 plus 0 over 4 plus 0, which is 0 over 4, which is 0. So this implies that as x approaches infinity, the line y equals 0, which is the x-axis, is an horizontal asymptote. We could replace infinity by minus infinity above and get the same value for the limit. Therefore, y equals 0 is also an horizontal asymptote as x approaches minus infinity. The following figure shows the graph of f and it shows that at both extremities, the x-axis is an horizontal asymptote. So note that this function also has vertical asymptotes, but this is not something we would be able to find with the previous limits. This is something that we would find by studying the domain of the function and its discontinuities. Now, by the way, we could have used L'Hopital's rule as well to evaluate the limit as x goes to infinity of 3x plus 1 over 4x squared minus 1, because it is a limit of the form infinity over infinity, but it is faster to proceed when the function in the limit is a rational function without using L'Hopital's rule. And that's what we have done previously. In our second example, we will see that we will need L'Hopital's rule. The function is 2 plus x squared e to the minus x. And to study what happens when x is large, we evaluate the limit as x goes to infinity of the function. Now the first term, 2, is constant, and its limit is just 2. So the limit is 2 plus the limit of the second term, which is x squared times e to the minus x. Since when the exponent is large and negative, e to the x goes to 0, then when x goes to infinity, minus x is large and negative, and e to the minus x goes to 0. Therefore, x squared e to the minus x is the limit of the form infinity times 0. Now, this is an indeterminate form, and the value of the limit could be anything. It's not necessarily 0 or infinity. So we cannot use L'Hopital's rule directly here since the limit is not of the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, but we need to make one or the other happen. In a previous video, we have seen a limit of this type and the strategy was to send the exponential function in the denominator in order to get a limit of the form infinity over infinity. So here we will send e to the minus x in the denominator and we'll get x squared over e to the x. Now, if we do this, we can now apply L'Hopital's rule. Again, because we have a limit of the form infinity over infinity. Now, so by taking the ratio of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator, which is basically what L'Hopital's rule is, we get the limit of 2x over e to the x. This is still a limit of the form infinity over infinity. And we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. And... And if we do this, we get the limit of 2 over e to the x. This time, the limit is of the form 2 over infinity. Now, if we divide 2 by increasingly large numbers, then we will get numbers that are very small. So the limit is 0. So overall, the limit of 2 plus x squared e to the minus x is 2 plus 0, which is 2. 
So this means that y equals 2 is an horizontal asymptote when x goes to infinity. Now let's see if there is an asymptote when x goes to minus infinity. We need to look at the limit when x goes to minus infinity of 2 plus x squared e to the minus x, which is equal to 2 plus the limit when x goes to minus infinity of x squared e to the minus x. Again, because 2 is just a constant. This last limit is of the form infinity times infinity. So that's because when x goes to minus infinity, minus x goes to infinity, and the exponential function e to the minus x will go to infinity as well. Limits of the form infinity over infinity are not indeterminate because multiplying two large numbers together gives another large number. So the limit is infinity. So overall, the limit is 2 plus infinity, which is infinity. Therefore, the function rises to infinity as x goes to minus infinity. Our analysis is confirmed in this figure by the graph of the function. When x goes to infinity, the function has a horizontal asymptote y equals 2, and it rises to infinity when x goes to minus infinity. Thanks for watching.